Look at the back. Look at that. Look at that. Flip. I mean, this is this is a shit you can only get in vintage shops. I'm sorry. All right, so I need to go out vintage shopping probably later on today. So we're gonna have lunch before I go. Yes. So, <laughs> all right, so what are we having today? We are going to have a juicy burger. Is that caramelized onions? As you lot already know, Michael and I, we have been HelloFresh <laughs> lovers for the past 12 months, I think, maybe, give or take-ish now. Um, so, I'm just showing you what we're gonna have for lunch before we head out. Or well, before I head out, rather. It's, it's so true. Every single week, we eat something completely different. It's nice to be able to actually make, you know, something fresh, you know, you not bought it from the shop. By the way, I just finished leftovers of something from last, the last meal, which was quesadillas. We made chicken and pineapple quesadillas. I like how she says we. <laughs> so there was leftovers, so I just, I just had some of it right now. That's, that's, that's quite a lot actually, it's pretty generous. So These are usually spot on with time. Yeah, they are. Actually, I think on average, they seem to be around, I don't know, 30 minutes-ish, give or take. But um, either way, it's, it's a manageable amount of time. So you're not like slave to the, <laughs> slave to the kitchen for like several hours. All right. So you just put that on there. Yeah, so I have half of that. Okay. But I must say, I do like the fact that, you know, each recipe just comes with everything. So you don't have to run out and buy this, buy that, you know, run around the supermarket. This looks quite simple as well. It's basically sweet potatoes, right? Onions, tomatoes. Onions, tomatoes. Couple of buns to throw in the oven. Right. You take the garlic and you wrap it up in some aluminum foil. Boom. So we've got the HelloFresh, which is the classic plan, but there's also a veggie plan. So they probably do veggie burgers. I can imagine a vegetarian version of this actually and um, a family as well. Right now I'm doing the jam, so I'm going to put the tomatoes. You're making a jam? Yeah, this is the jam that we're gonna like put on top of the bread. So split screen difference <laughs> to how we were cooking this time last, well, we weren't really cooking this time last year. No, we weren't <laughs> cooking. We were watching people cook, it wasn't us. No, but it was, um, it was starting to be a little bit on the pricey side. Really good that we've been able to like um, save money. Well, I mean, look when we go to the grocery store. Yeah. What do we buy there? It's all liquids. It's all I have in the cart. I know. Well, now exactly because <laughs> we've already got the food that's brought to us. Um, also, the meals can start from six ninety nine for HelloFresh, so not too bad. So, what is this? We are stuffing the crap out of these burgers with cheese. <laughs> An epic burger. But if you're going away on holiday or whatever, you know, just going away for a week or so, you can obviously change the date. So this obviously is my jam, you know, my jam, girl, my jam. And there is actually cheese stuffed in the middle of these burgers. So we do have a code for you lot. It is Karen Britchick 80. I'm going to put it on the screen as well. And it basically gives you eight, yes, eight free meals. So, there you go, for first time subscribers. What? What? Eight? Yeah, yeah, it's eight. We didn't get eight. No, no, we didn't get eight free meals when we first started HelloFresh, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> Time to eat. <laughs> Time to eat. I need to eat because I need to leave anyway, okay. so. Yes, ciao. Mm. Normally I eat a burger with a knife and a fork, but Wow. Look at this. Look at the size of this. I'm actually impressed. It's quite good. Okay, hold on. God, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Holy crap. This is delicious. Anyway, like I said, eight meals for free. You are very welcome. Well, I'll put the link in the description box below and you can enter that code and um, yeah, enjoy your free meals. What'd you say? I like these buns. That's what she said. Right. It has been a while since I've been to a vintage or a thrift shop and I actually miss it. Do you actually get like that? Where you actually miss going? Anyway, I do. So I'm at that point where I am wanting to go. So I'm going to see if I can, oh, by the way, this is Topshop, this dress. It's open at the back, so I'm wearing like a trench coat over it. I'm going to go to Beacon's Closet first because I have some stuff to purge. 
that's what I usually do. I usually purge some stuff, but this time I'm actually going with the intention of seeing if I, you know, see anything for the spring season. Um, I'm quite partial to dresses. So I'm gonna show you basically how I go about it, like dresses specifically, right? Let's just pick dresses. I can do others later on, but let's focus on dresses. Um, how I look for them in like vintage consignment, thrift shops, um, what I look for, what I don't, what I try to avoid, all that good stuff i was gonna say s-h-i-t but i don't think i should anyway i just did i forgot to show you the bag i went with the loewe in the stone blue because i like the blue with the brown like really really crap on me so we'll see all right and then i saw this wild card which is this two-piece suit oh, i love it So, day two, going out. <laughs> I did have success. That suit. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't what I planned to get. I was actually looking for a good couple of spring dresses, but vintage summer dresses or spring dresses. But I love that slip um, skirt that I slip dress that I found. But I'm going to go out anyway. Let us leave. Notice I said us. So, I am outside of my favorite stomping ground, which is Urban Jungle. This place is very hit or miss, so I have no idea what it's going to be like. So, we will see together. vintage shops well I say favorites they are two vintage shops that I tend to frequent one is Beacon's Closet now that is a vintage slash consignment slash thrift shop in one because you can bring stuff there which I do that you need to sell they give you cash on the spot and then you can turn around and you know there's stuff available that you can buy as well but it's stuff that people have also given up so it's like you can just extend the life of things that you no longer want pass it on to somebody else to wear so keeping that whole recycling circle going and reusing clothes anyway so that's why i like to go to beacons and i'm holding my <laughs> afro comb i don't know why like it's a flipping microphone um anyway so i went there and they do have vintage stuff as well. Right, okay, I got preface. I was looking for a dress. I failed at that. <laughs> I did find two dresses, 
One of them I will, it's fine, it's a slip dress, I love it, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try on everything so you can see. But, um, I, I actually have in my mind the, the, the dress I'm looking for and I'm gonna manifest it. It's like the camel coat, I'm gonna try and manifest into my life the summer dress that I'm looking for. Um, it's in my mind, it's got sleeves, a bit like, it's a bit like, oh god, should I show you? I'll put it on screen, this dress. Okay, so I own this vintage dress. I've had it for donkey's years and I want an update. So I'm looking for, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly that dress. I'm not saying I want a, a, a replica of it, but I'm looking for something that has those qualities, preferably a higher neck, preferably. Something that has like a puff shoulder detail, that has, you know, like sleeves, even if it's not full length, just partial sleeves. Something that's maxi or a midi length. Something that has a romantic, that's it. I want a romantic vintage dress, just like that dress is, this one, right? So I'm looking for another version of that. <sighs> Anyway, I will take you on my journey over the next few weeks on if I get lucky and find it because I just did it with the camel coat last year. I'm going to do it with the this search for the vintage romantic dress. I think that's such a nice, it sounds like an adventure and I'm taking a lot with me. Anyway, so that's going to come. So that's what I was kind of looking for. I ended up finding not just uh, a couple of dresses. One of them I'm actually going to alter and change into something else. I'm going to do it right in front of you. Um, but I found... I found, I found a suit, and actually that is that is part of it. That this men's, I think it's men's, because it feels like men's when I wear it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling and clapping and getting right into what I did actually find. First thing I found is are these jeans? You don't know what's gonna be in these kind of shops, and that's that's the fun factor. That's the thrill of the hunt. These dark, dark jeans. They're high rise. Read that. It says pickpockets on the back. Such a cool detail. I love them. I think they're great. They're perfect. The length is great. I'm wearing two different colored socks right now. So this is one side and this is the other side. It's perfect YouTube outfit right there. Absolutely fantastic though. But these are, yeah, these are great. And then I found this vintage top. I showed you on Instagram stories as well on I switched to live so I could literally take you lot with me live but I found this top I'm gonna to put this on right now with this jeans so you can see exactly how it looks this how I have it in my mind to wear it by the way I haven't tried this on I just eyeballed it and just thought nah that will fit so you're gonna see with me right now if it does I don't know maybe it looks a bit naff what do you think comment below do you like it or do you not as you can see by my reaction I'm literally torn take the, the shoulder pads out I don't know I think I made a mistake because <laughs> now I'm not so sure if I really like it or not what do you think I literally want you lot to tell me yes or no to this top oh I think this looks dated this is gonna have to go yeah I'm not so sure I should have tried this on in the shop I look at patterns right and I look at things that to me just look dated the patterns just don't scream of being fresh being now it just looks like something that you would have had in your wardrobe from about 10 years ago or something if they look like that just keep going through because what i'm really looking for i mean this is a prime example of what i was not but i ended up picking it normally i would just have skipped by i should have tried it on i made that mistake which brings me to tip number two try the vintage stuff on ignore the sizes i know i've said this before but it's true it's worth repeating um sizes on vintage clothes are different to how they're sized now so don't go by that just kind of eyeball it like i did with this because this fits me but i ignored whatever the label was i'm ignoring sizes on labels i'm just eyeballing it um, i'm looking at the material itself those are my guidelines of what i initially look for i also look for color i look for colors that I think suit my particular skin tone um, and colors that I think will go well with the things that I already own in my wardrobe I will again link below the video on how to mix colors how to master wearing colors together a lot of you said that's really helped so I'll link it again below for those of you who haven't seen it okay so the next thing I found is this slip dress I don't like to force the search that's another tip for vintage um, shopping and thrift shopping as well these rules apply for both don't force it 
like for me i told you i'm looking for a dress a specific type of summer dress but if i don't find it doesn't mean i'm going to walk out with a ton of alternative dresses because i still want that dress fix don't do that just walk away come back another time and you will trust me you will there'll be a day like the camel coat where you're going to walk in and you will find that dress that you're looking for i like slip dresses anyway because i like the idea of wearing them yeah you can wear them out with a pair of like say doc martens like this because this is beautiful or you can still wear it at night like you're going to bed i just think it's just so nice to wear them both ways anyway it's got a v front here and it's got like these gorgeous details like you know what i mean it's not like ridiculous granny looking i'm gonna try this on for you now so you can see how it looks on me but winner winner i love it and it feels fantastic as well not bad all right so let me just show it to you on this is the slip dress it's gorgeous it's so i just think it's beautiful it feels so nice and that pale kind of pink color i really like that color like on my skin anyway on my skin tone a classic classic slip dress this is so good why am i standing on the end of the bed this is the back as you can see, I am not wearing a bra with it, but um, don't let that put you off. You can wear, I think, bras with something like this. I think it looks quite nice. You know, you just see like um, the strap showing a bit. If you've got like, just obviously buy a particular bra that you intentionally want to show. I'm not a bra expert. Do not ask me for a bra video. I'm warning you from now. I am terrible with bras. I have light switches, so I don't have much of a Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't feel I'm the right person to talk to you about bras when you've got like little tits. I think you need to have like sizable chest, some good knockers on you, and then you can really like say, you know, these bras are really brilliant. These are like for scaffolding support. These are, this is crappy. It's just gonna like wobble for days in these. You know, you need someone who can tell you like bras from that standpoint, who's got like some good, you know, some tits on her. So I can't do that. I wear like triangle bras. Obviously from last week's video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. But I talked about wearing a slip dress styled um, on top of a tight polo neck, right? Like a turtleneck. Just wear that tight underneath. So if you're like conscious about your arms, you don't have to have like all this out. A t-shirt even. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Right, so I'll show you what this looks like like the full thing but i mean you gotta wear this when it's like 100 degrees out really when you've got your arms out well not even 100 it could be like 80. or obviously put a jacket or a blazer over it i feel like that's the wrong color who cares layer i mean you could put like a blazer that's the thing with slip dresses you could put like a, a blazer so if you're going out in the evening you just have like a little light like blazer or a light trench but i like it because you know i'm really into color a lot now so i love just the look of having like this pale pink with this incredible like tangerine um orange of this trench coat and just have them together and just get a bag i like the mango bag hold on where are we going let's go out right now i gotta take this off this looks so bad better than bloody having socks on my feet anyway so this is so you can see how the whole thing looks i think slip dresses lend themselves perfectly to be worn underneath like a lightweight blazer a cropped jacket um a denim jacket uh a long trench but it doesn't have to be this is leather you can obviously have like a lighter weight summer fluid type of trench coat and you just layer the you know just lay the trench coat over the slip dress and now you've got like a perfect like evening sort of outfit or going out for dinner this is just oh, anyway you get the point of what i'm trying to say about the slip dresses so this all goes through my mind which is why i ended up picking this so that's another tip for you make sure you've got ideas already of exactly how you would wear the item don't just be like i have no flipping clue how i'd wear this vintage orange trench coat like absolutely none don't do that. Don't buy it. Don't force yourself to buy it. That's another tip. Don't force yourself to buy it. I'm going to show you the next dress. And I told you earlier that I did something, or will be doing something to that dress. Urban Jungle in Brooklyn. I'm going to start checking out some more um, vintage shops as well. I've got like a, a few that I want to hit, some brand new ones. So I'm definitely going to do a, a video on those. But I found this. Don't laugh. Cause I actually kind of love it. 
it is this western obviously heavily western inspired or western i'm gonna say inspired a western dress there's such a strong western influence going on this past not just this past season it was in fall and winter as well see it shows no sign of just disappearing anyway so i like the idea of this i had in my mind you know what i'll just wear this like low and open i'll belt it not gonna believe this one of the metal tips just fell off i'm gutted i'm absolutely look but the sound of it went ping and went flying i'm going to find it and i'm going to stick that sucker on and now i've got it on me in front of you like, i actually kind of like it. it's got pockets i didn't know that i didn't know it had pockets I don't like that on a dress, usually, elasticated waists. I find that they just emphasize, you make you look bigger. But, I mean, apart from that, I actually kind of like this dress. I think it's kind of badass. I really need to find that metal tip that, oh, there it is! <gasps> I found it! I can't now, but that is what, it, anyway. Oh, I'm so pissed. So, I'm gonna put it with a belt, because now I'm undecided. I might end up keeping it the way it is. And what I've done is I've cheated the waistline. This is actually where the elastic is. Can you see it? The elastic band is right there, which means that the belt would have gone right down there. But I don't like that. See that look there? I think that looks frumpy. So what I do is a little stylist trick. Put the waistband higher visually with the belt and just put it right there. So that way it's at the small, it tr it's truly at the smallest part of you when it's above your belly button, that's a stylist tip. And then you've got like, the rest of the skirt just comes out from the smallest part of you and that just makes you look just smaller in general. You know what, it's the wrong color belt. So it turns out the only silver hardware belt I own is a Western style belt. Now I probably, I doubt I would wear, in fact I won't, this is overkill. To me this is like almost costume like. So I would put just a normal, just a normal belt with it. So I'm just gonna turn it around so you can't really see it for now. Cause what I was gonna do, and you can wear it all the way up like that, which I actually like in the fall. Oh God, I'm talking myself into keeping it like this. I would cut, cut it here and wear it as a top. That is what I was going to do. And I was looking through the net porte website this morning and I saw this shirt. Cause I thought to myself, I've seen Western shirts out before on, on like all of those websites. And look at this from Gaddy. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I was gonna do to this dress. So what do I do? Do I leave it like this and just wear it, rock it as a dress or not? Tell me, what do you think? I'm gonna insert some cutaways so you can see this dress on me. And I want you lot to leave a comment below telling me, ignore the top, because I know the top, I'm not gonna keep that. But this, what about this? Do I leave it as a dress or do I turn around and cut it? Anyway, I want to know what you think. Tell me, help, help me, all right? Help me, let me know. All right, so, but I do kind of like it like this. If you didn't like it the way it is, like say you're me, right, and you bought this dress, you didn't like the way it looked on you, just like take a pair of jeans and go, Actually, I like the top half of it though. Maybe I could just cut the bloody thing and just wear it as a top. You know what I'm saying? Cut it. And just wear it as a top. That's my advice for you. So what's your advice for me? <laughs> I found this incredible suit. I thought, look at this. It's just this looks so good i couldn't believe it look at the pockets the outside pockets that again nod to the western trend but the oversized cut lapels it kind of makes it feel a bit more 70s and it also feels like like a cuba um, jacket and then look it had a matching pan you can always get this tailored look at the tabs look at the belt loops it was one of those things that I pulled out and I went, oh, oh God, this looks so good. That's what she said. This is it. I just flung on this um, snake print shirt. This is from Zara. <sighs> okay, so I got the pant on. The pant, like I said, it's too big. So I have to have it tailored. But it is, <laughs> oh yeah, it's too big.
too big. It's definitely too big. It needs to be like that. Anyway, so that's 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 the idea. I know my boobs are out. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking about as far as like the tailoring. It's gonna just fit it like that. So it's nice and snug. Not say anything. <clears throat> This suit is fucking amazing. <laughs> this is so good. It's so, it's so good. It's so, look at that. That, it had me at that and that. These over, these pointed lapels, so retro. I tell you what, I put this on and I, instantly thought of Prada but so this is more the true color of it look at that I mean if that doesn't scream spring in a really like editorial way I don't I don't know what does it's just just amazing it's amazing this is amazing um I like the idea actually of wearing it with this snake print shirt right because I like the play on the browns and this kind of peppermint I don't know what colour. It's like a mint. That's it. Mint. Mint green. You would never find a suit like this in like a Zara or a Mango or any of those type of shops. Only in a vintage shop would you find something like this because of the way it's cut, because of the design features on it. All of this, this goes around the back as well. Look at that. And look at the stitching. Can you see it? There. So good. It's so good. Um, I like the idea of a Mango bag with it. Because this, I just like the play of a the colour. I love the brown picking up again on the shirt, and just the contrast of something sort of quite feminine with something quite obviously kind of masculine at the same time. I mean, this is how I would do spring. In fact, this is how I will flip and do spring. I'm going to be styling all of these pieces on my Instagram. I'm definitely going to be styling this on my Instagram. I may kick off with this actually because I love it so flipping much. Um, so just. Check my Instagram to see. This is badass. It's just, it reminds me of Cuba for some reason. I think of, I've never been to Cuba. It's on my bucket list, putting it up there. Step out of your comfort zone. Try the men's section. This is a tip that I will forever talk about on my channel because I keep telling you lot, check out the men's section. Ignore sizes for the men's and for the women's as well because again, we don't know. The sizing was kind of different back then. This is so good. I'm just going to stare at myself till the end of this video. This actually had a happy ending, this video, because it was meant to be about me searching for a spring dress, specific kind of romantic or spring romantic dresses. I'd love to have like two or three from vintage shops. Oh God, that'd be my dream. I'm gonna put it out there. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to vlog every time I go out. I'm gonna include normal shops as well so we can see what they've got. And then I'm gonna compare them to what the vintage shops has. It's gonna take me weeks, but I'm going to do the video just like I did with the camel coat. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel so you can see, did Karen find a romantic dress or two or three? But I didn't find it this time, but look what I found instead though. I still wanna hear your thoughts about this. <laughs> Leave it like this or cut it. Cut or don't cut. That is my lot. Peppered throughout, there were some tips about vintage shopping and what I would like to tell you and advise you. If I was talking to my friends who were vintage shopping for the first time, I would tell them the same thing. So, sorry. So, I'm telling, I would tell them the same thing. So, I'm telling it to you as well. So, yeah. What a great way to end the video, though. I'm gone. Um, what else did I want to say? I feel like there was something I wanted to say. I can't think. I'm blinded by my love of this suit, so I can't think. Anyway, um, I will see you lot next Friday. Have a good weekend, as I always say to you lot, and I mean it. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next Friday. Hope you liked this come shopping with me slash tips on vintage shopping slash look what I ended up finding instead of like a proper romantic summer dress. Although I did find that slip dress, and I do like that. But there will be more videos about the hunt for that vintage romantic dress. I must find it. It's out there. I know it is out there. So I am going to end this video now and stop staring at this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And give this video a thumbs up if it helps you a little bit with vintage shopping. All right, I'm done. I'll see you next week. Bye.
it's hit or miss when you go to vintage shops. Sometimes sops, sops. <laughs> it kind of looks like that. In that, in that, in that, in that. Oh God. Stopped. He stopped talking to the video. He stopped talking to the video. Oh God. This is what happens when you stop talking to the camera for a few, a couple of weeks, and you do a video like this again, like just talking to the camera. I call it newsreader style. You know, you just your 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 speech just disappears. Try it. You'll see what I mean. So why do you think we should have some Marvin Gaye music playing right now? Uh, because you're making love to the food. Oh my god, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> so this is it, this is... Okay, so... <laughs> oh. Putting boots on would be too much cowboy. What boots? Oh, Put cat... Any pair of boots on. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Look at him learning. I swear in a former life, I was a man from the 70s. Right? I had to have been. I had to. Have, I had to have been. And then here, just got this like slight Z, uh, Z front. Oh, it's got a Z front, not a V front. It's got a Z front. Bloody hell! I need to come up with my own collection. All vintage inspired. All of it. Sliding, sort of nodding toward the seventies. I really, really do. I mean. You ain't trying to grow, let it stun for you For the record, lab on me going all the way For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste For the record, for the record, yeah For the, for the record